Welcome to my channel. Here I will be showing you how you can construct a, a hexagon when you are given the distance across corners. How to construct an hexagon that is a six-sided polygon when you are given the distance across corners. So the distance across corners that I've been using here will be 60 millimeters. So let's see how this can be done. So the first thing to do is to withdraw horizontal line horizontal line of any length like this now we're taking a measurement of 60 millimeters on this horizontal line 60 millimeters on the horizontal line so this is the first end and this is the second end so 60 millimeters so this point is point a This is point A and this is point B. So 60 millimeters apart. So the next thing I'm going to do is to bisect uh, the distance or uh, I will not bisect it. So I will just locate the midpoint of the line. So the distance across corner is 60 millimeters. So half of 60 is 30. So which is the midpoint. So I have the midpoint here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to take my compass. So I will call this midpoint, I will call it point O. Okay. So I put the midpoint of my compass at O and extend the pencil point to point B or point A. So that radius OA. Then I will draw a circle like this. Okay. So with this circle that I've drawn, so the same radius that I used to construct this circle, I'm still going to make use of, the, of it, which is 30 millimeters. So I'll put the input of my compass at A here. I'll make an arc up and down. Then the same radius I will put at B. Put the input at B, make an arc up and down. Like this. So with what I've done here now, so this point here, so this point is point C. This is point C and this is point D. So this is point E and this is point F. Okay, so I'm going to join. So I'm going to join this together. So I will join. So BF. So I join BF together like this. So I will join AD together like this so we join CD together so we join EF together so we join BC so join point BC together like this and now we join so A E together like this. All right. So this is the polygon. So this is the hexagon. It's as simple as I've shown it here. All you need to do is to practice. So when you practice, you will surely know it. And don't forget that what we are given here is the distance across corner. So the distance absorbed across corner is the distance from year to year. So which are the corners on the polygon? Thank you and God bless you.